Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. Uh, this time in how to build a deck, we are building a deck of Gloria Goldberg, the new mystic investigator that just came out in the latest novella. Uh, the point of this video is to uh, show how to deconstruct a deck. So we will be first building Gloria with experience and then deconstructing it down to zero so you can start your campaign and know which direction you will take the deck. So let's get started. So I have built two different deck lists for Gloria, one with 19 XP and one with zero XP. We will be starting from the 19 XP list. So as you can see, uh, Gloria has uh, 19 experience in the deck. The off class for this deck is a rogue. I am building the deck with sleight of hand in mind because there are some assets that can be uh, taken advantage of, so to speak, with the sleight of hand. Even as this is a taboo list, there are still good items to slide, slide of hand out. We will look at these uh, items a bit closer, but I will add this deck list into the video description if you want to check it out later. But let's get back into the deck and what why we put everything in. So the Maybe the most important part of any Gloria Goldberg deck is Alisa Graham. There are two copies of her in the deck. Alisa just is a good card for uh, Gloria because you, it allows you to uh, look at the top card of either the encounter deck or the player deck, mainly the encounter deck, because then you can start manipulating the top of that deck. Other staple cards in the experienced version are Scrying level 3 and the taboo listed scroll of secrets level 3. Both of these let you look at the top cards on the encounter deck. So if you don't get Alisa right away, at least you have four more cards in the deck that can help you uh, look at the encounter deck. Then there are other staple cards like Shrivelings, Spectral Razors for fighting. Then uh, Drawn to the Flame is really good in Gloria because you can basically dictate what you are drawing as an encounter card before playing the Drawn to the Flame. Also, if you just can't get rid of a nasty treachery, uh, Ward of Protections are really good. So. All of these are staple Gloria cards, uh, even uh, undependent on her of class or how you are building the deck. They just work really well in Gloria. So I'll just put these cards to the side. Then, uh, because we are building a sleight of hand uh, Gloria. There are, of course, two copies of Sleight of Hand. Then we have a Protest Statue. This can be Sleight of Handed into play. Then you can uh, use it three times and return it back into your hand. And this is the two experience version that came in the Jacqueline Starter Investigator Pack. So you can uh, even after the taboo list, slight of hand it into play. Uh, we have Scroll of Prophecies, which is quite useful if you are uh, in need of uh, some cards uh, or extra card draw. Then you can slight of hand it in, uh, draw a bunch of cards and then return it back into your hand. Also, the Sword Cane can be really good nice to sleight of hand in. Uh, with that you can basically as a fast action get it into play, use it to evade 
and then it returns back into your hand and you save one uh, resource by playing but uh, that is maybe the, the least useful thing to slide of hand in it basically saves you uh, one action but nothing more then we have uh, staple rogue cards like quick study uh, Faustian bargain for more economy and uh, three copies of easy mark for more economy and momentum I have found that many times you can get the high uh, success in a skill test so momentum is uh, quite good in Gloria I think uh, I think that's enough of this uh, level up version so how do we deconstruct the deck down to uh, 0 XP well we have to of course watch uh, which uh, experienced cards we have and think of a replacement cards that will be uh, basically uh, cards that will uh, be in the deck as uh, placeholders uh, yeah we still have this so scroll of secrets uh, scrying Okay, I think that's all of the experience cards. So, of course, uh, scrying can be substituted with uh, scrying level zero. Not that powerful of a card, but still you can use it. Uh, the only difference is that it loses the fast uh, triggered ability. So you, you have to spend actions to use it. Uh, for scroll of secrets, I didn't up to change it to the level 0 version because that doesn't look at cards on the top of the encounter deck instead because Gloria has low health I instead put in robes of endless nights these can uh, help you <laughs> stay alive in the early scenario and then uh, there are, is no uh, level zero, 0 grotesque statue so I just in ended up having ritual candles in. Not that useful, but still an okay substitute. Then uh, for the economy cards, uh, the easy marks, I had another Faustian bargain in the list. I also have two watch this in the list. And for the momentum, I had two copies of Guts, which is always good in uh, a mystic build so basically that is how you deconstruct a deck so uh, you can start by playing the level 0 version then as you get experience you can start from the most critical parts of the deck so uh, for me because this is sleight of hand uh, I think the most critical part is to uh, get rid of these ritual candles and get the grotesque statues in. Then uh, next up would be uh, getting the scryings upgraded. And I think the uh, scroll of secrets is not that important, but still uh, I think that would be the next uh, upgrade. So this is already uh, 16 experience. So uh, this would have been done in a, a multiple of scenarios unless you're playing the Dream Eaters maybe then in, in two scenarios but then these three can be changes with only one experience but they uh, are not in any way like the priority then the Guts uh, can be just upgraded whenever so mm, that is basically it. Uh, some people might do a deconstruct from uh, 30 experience down. I usually start from 19 experience down because uh, rarely do I get that much experience in a campaign. And uh, at that point uh, you might be just getting cards that are not that important for your build to function so I think 19 is a good good uh, 
point from where to start deconstructing the deck. So, hope you guys like this uh, building a deck tutorial. So thanks for watching and until next time.